Hello my dudes, welcome back to Minecraft Mine Colonies Byzantine. Last episode, well we got, uh, what did we do? Oh yeah, yeah, the animal farms over there. They look pretty cool. We didn't do the rabbit hutch because the Byzantine style does not have a rabbit hutch yet. So we're gonna wait for the pack to add that one. But what I've done in between episodes is a little bit of TLC. Almost every single building now is level three on the colony. We've got four builders, they're all super quick, and it was a no-brainer to get everything upgraded. And we've also fixed some stairs and some retaining walls up to the retail district where all of the buildings up here are also level three. Amazing news. Now there's still a bit of work to be done in getting this area all nice and stuff, but it's a good start. And of course, the big one. So the university was really holding us back and we're gonna be capped at 100 dudes very soon. So I had to get this upgraded to level four, and that's amazing news. What it means is with the university at level four, we're gonna have a library and a school inside there. And those are two buildings we really do need to get up to level three so we can do a load more research. Very cool. Now, oh my God, take a look at that. What, <laughs> what is going on over there? Yeah, we've got major problems over at the plantation because one of the mods, Apotheosis, a mod that admittedly we don't really use, means that, yeah, the sugarcane and the bamboo just don't stop growing. So they are going sky high and it's pretty much ridiculous. So I'm thinking maybe I'm gonna remove Apotheosis to make the sugarcane much more manageable. But let me know in the comments section if you think we should lose Apotheosis for normal sugarcane or keep it for the sweet enchants. And I'll like and heart the comment. So yeah, this episode, what are we gonna do? Well, let's take a look at the zones that currently remain, because I've got a loose outline in my head for what we're gonna be doing and adding here and there. So number one, we have this area under the bridge, and I feel like this is where we're gonna put the graveyard and the church. We'll have to take a look at the sizes of the buildings to make sure there's enough space. But if there's not, there's also this area up here behind the university that could also serve and function as an area for the graveyard and the church. Now we also have this big area in front of the plantation. Now what this is gonna become is a grand garden plaza. Basically, there are so many really cool garden decorations in the Byzantine pack. We're gonna add a really cool, impressive looking garden because we really do need something that's big and impressive and not just utility. And over here in the corner of the walls, we're gonna be adding a little bit of a port section where we're gonna be building the massive Droman ship full of guard towers and the siege work mechanics hut. But not forgetting this massive area over here behind the animal pens. And what this is gonna become is I think the military district. It's by a gate and I think it's a perfect big wide open space for a lot of guard towers, barracks and training facilities for our dudes. Well, very exciting times, and we have a lot on our plate, so let's jump in. So number one, we're gonna go and check out the university. We're also gonna start upgrading the library and school, because those are gonna be really important for some of the civilian research. We're gonna hire a researcher, and do research. We can see if we can get four researchers queued up. And then last but not least, we're gonna look at the graveyard and the school. Boom, and that's a nice little healthy mix of things for us to approach today, okay. So let's get started, we're gonna head over to the university and, ooh, how do I get down from here? Better question, how did I get up? Oh no! Oh of course, when we upgraded the university, it swallowed up the waystone, and I don't know if it's gonna be in the warehouse. I imagine maybe the builder picked it up, and if he did, it might be back here. Yeah, here it is, a waystone. Press the question mark, and let's see if we can locate this mother Hubbard. Where are you? In one of these racks? Oh man, it could be anywhere. Oh, it's down there, right. Gotcha. There we go, amazing. Anything else interesting in here? No, not really. Just a whole lot of cobbled deep slate, wow. Anyway, let's head over there manually. Now we might as well actually use our underground sewer. Kind of, yeah. Good to see the builders and couriers using this. And the guards too. How's it going, Kenjiro? Usagi Carlson. Man, one thing I noticed actually is Usagi Carlson is insanely quick. Like he runs like the Flash. 
Check him out. Look, he is a speed demon. There's no way I can keep up with him. Which is great news because couriers need to be quick. Now, another really cool thing is, I believe this tree gets bigger for every single level of the university. And I really like that. It's like a nice evolution. As the building improves, so does the tree. Now, one weird thing, the post box did not get removed. Well, whatever. Let's put down the waystone. Library of Stindria. There we go. Perfect. So, let's take a look. We're going to need to hire a new researcher. And again, we're just going to pinch one of the guards. Because we're kind of running out of dudes. We're looking for a good knowledge and a good mana, apparently. Oh, and take a look. Lynn Cannon, who is a druid, something that we don't really use at the moment, has 13 knowledge and 6 mana. Boom. A perfect extra researcher. Let's get her over here. Get her in her researching robes. Very cool. Now let's also take a look at some of the research we can do. Now we've got four levels of research we can do and four researchers to do them. So is there a really impressive big time level four research we want to do? Well, actually, yes. With 256 stake, we can get village, which, wait, what? Max citizens to 100. But we've actually already got more than that. But it's going to be one of the most important things we do. So that's a big one. Four stacks of steak. Well, what about the technology tree? There must be some really, really tasty high-level research in the technology tree. Oh, of course. We're going to need to unlock the Dyer's Hut before we build it. So rainbow heaven with some poppies. And that's two researchers. So let's put this to the test. We're going to open the post box and wait because there's so many items in this mod pack that it takes about 20 seconds to load. And actually, I'm kind of worried it's going to crash my game. Because that blue circle, that's not a healthy circle. It's not responding, but I, I feel like... Oh, no. No, if I, if I wait, if I'm patient, wait for the program to respond, it will get there. Yes. Whew, okay. So we're going to ask for some steak. And we're going to request 256 of this. Boom. We've got the raw beef, I'm fairly sure. So we should be able to wait for that to arrive. So we'll request some poppies as well, but this thing takes so long to use because of all the items in the mod pack, it's a bit of a chore. So one of the ways you can get around the post box being so difficult to open is by holding shift and right clicking, and this will let you go straight to the inventory, and you don't have to worry about loading every single piece of item, every single, you know, modded monstrosity. Then we can go over to the research block, go to technology, and we can do Rainbow Heaven to get the Dyer's Hut underway. And that's two researchers on the go. While we're waiting for the last stack of stakes to be delivered, let's go down here and take a look at the new sections of the university. So I believe the library and the school should be over here in the front. They are, however, not. So, <laughs> where are they? Hmm, well, we're on a mission now to scan this building for the library and the school blocks. They do exist. They are here somewhere. So let's take a look. We're going to get Molly Moo on this. It's a very simple build. Look at this bookshelf, lectern, spruce wood panel, spruce log. Oh my god, so quick. Molly Moo, you're on the case here. And since the other lady, Ambriel, is pretty close as well, we're going to get her on the school. So where are you, Ambriel? And yeah, a bit more tricky, but still a very small build. And I love that because the building is already kind of built. They just have to do the interiors, which is really cool. I love multi-building structures. Okay, so that's the research underway. But there's one more thing I wanted to do with the university. And that is put in the basement. So if we right click over here, oh no, we don't need to right click. Look, you can see here there's a decoration controller in the university here. And what's it doing right here? Well, this is for the basement. So we're going to go to upgrade and oh my god, there are a lot of requirements for this. So it's going to be a bit of a slow burn. There's also a lot of digging to be done. But the basement does look really, really, really freaking cool. Wow, yellow candles. There's a lot of wacky stuff, but we're going to get Molly Moo on this once she's done the library or the school, whichever it was. And then she'll come over here and just start digging away and make a start on this. It's going to be a slow burner over time, but we'll come back and I want to show you that later because the basement looks really amazing. 
Oh my god, oh no, there's a bee! There's a there's a bee in the school! What kind of bee is it? It's just a regular old bee. But he's got white all over his bum, which I think means he's pollinated. So what buildings are we making now? Well, we're looking for the graveyard for one. Boom. Oh, I need some cooked stone. So let's see if we can get some cobble in our diamond furnace. Boom. Cook you up like a crazy motro. Should be pretty quick. In fact, yeah, we're done. Boom. Take all that out. Amazing. So the graveyard, in you go. Bam a lamb. Next up, we're going to be looking for the church. Now the church, I don't think it's a mine colony's building. No, unless it's a churro. But we're not building a giant churro. Oh, that does sound really tasty. But I have the build tool. Let's get out to the area underneath the bridge and see what this is going to look like. In fact, I'm actually pretty close to it. I don't think I need to use the waystone for this. Yeah, we're going to use this cheeky little shortcut here. Oh man, yeah, this gets us right to uh, right to the action. Oh, a bit lost actually. Deep underground in the bowels of the colony. But there we go. Yeah, now this is all very messy. It will get fixed up later on. So yeah, we have a small area here that I think will fit a graveyard, but I'm not sure if it's going to fit the church. Well, let's see what the church looks like, because I'm kind of intrigued by this. I got a message from Spamanti himself saying, you know what, the church is amazing, you should build it. And I'm like, well, okay, but where is it? Is it in education? No. Is it in decorations? Whoa, hang on a sec, whoa, there's a lot of new stuff here. Wonders, lighthouse, oh, this is the lighthouse, the great lighthouse? It's a famous lighthouse, I'm fairly sure, but oh my god, this is a big one. Oh my god, this is a huge one! <laughs> oh man, wow, look at this. Now this is a very expensive build, but if we want to make the great lighthouse, then we can do. But we're not doing that this episode. Whew. Fundamentals. Ah, here we go, the church. Oh my god, now this could be a big one. Oh, okay, yeah. No, this is a big one. This is a huge one. Absolutely colossal. Let's get up there so we can get a better look at this. Okay, so the church. Raise it up a bit. And, oh my god, at level one, this looks really impressive. This could actually go really well over here on this corner. So we've got level one, two, three, four, and five. Now, I believe the church might come with its own graveyard. That will make sense, right? Most churches in real life do, at least. So... Let's see if we can slot this over here on this little section. Oh, do you know what? Yes, we can. This kind of fits absolutely perfectly up here. So we can build the church up here, but to cover our bases, cover our tracks, we're also going to see if we can fit the graveyard underneath. Now, we are going to have to move the boundaries for the colony back a bit because this doesn't quite fit within our current boundaries. Luckily enough, we have that pre-made level three guard tower. Yeah, this is just outside the border, so another guard tower down here will have to be put down. So, okay, that is the church. What about the graveyard, though? What does that look like? Well, it's under Mystic, and yeah, okay, this looks very, very cool. Oh man, you know what? I really like the look of this. Now, will this fit underneath the bridge? I think it actually will. So, you know what? I think we can actually do both. We can have a church up here and a graveyard down in the valley. Now, will it fit? It might be a tight squeeze. What does it look like at higher levels? This is level one, two, three, four, five. Oh yeah, very cool. It could actually go up there behind the hospital. And that will make a lot of sense, actually, because you're kind of going to want to be carting dead dudes out of the hospital and into the graveyard. And if they have less journey to travel, well, more the better for them, because corpses get tired real quick. But again, does it fit over here? I think it should do. Yeah, do you know what? It kind of does. But again, we're also going to need to expand the boundaries this way a little bit. And so putting down this extra guard tower in the middle of these is probably a really good idea. In fact, maybe this tower here should become an actual guard tower. Yeah, do you know what? This looks actually kind of perfect right here. We are going to have to expand the boundaries, so it is guard tower o'clock. But if we can put a guard tower over here, maybe replace this current tower with an actual guard tower, and one over there to give us more area to work with over there, 
we can get our two buildings in this episode. So I'm gonna go grab the guard towers and get those built. But before you replace this building, we don't wanna just dig it down with a builder. I wanna actually take a look inside and see what is up this set of stairs. Now, if memory serves, these towers can have a lot of traps. Okay, so easy does it. Analyze every corner for a trap, a tripwire, a button, a pressure plate. Oh, it looks okay so far. Yeah, nothing going on. Oh, you know what? I think this might not be booby-trapped. Well, let's raid the chest then. Oh, no, it is booby-trapped! Go, go, go! No, 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 no! <laughs> oh, my God! I fall for that every single time. But, oh, wait, hang on a sec. Nothing blew up. Oh! I think because we're in the colony boundaries, we have creeper protection and by extension, explosive protection. So we got the stuff and didn't get boned. Luck of the sea, shield bash, and stable footing. Not great, but it'll be good to give these to colonists who want to join the colony and need enchanted books. Okay, well we can get rid of the rest of this building cause yeah, none of this is that impressive. Let's do it. So sometime later and these two guard towers are almost complete and in position. Now one of those has replaced the existing ancient tower that was there, but the other one we put down there in the valley to keep it out of the way of the church. And this should have given us plenty of room to build the church over here behind the university. Well, let's get going. So one very big build here and one kind of smaller build. Now you can see while the graveyard is being built, it's kind of overwritten the walls at the back there, but that's not a problem. We can fix that up and uh, trim that out. In fact, you may have seen him quickly zip in there, but Aquilario did clear up some of that wall for us. But yeah, the graveyard was always gonna be a much quicker build than the much larger church over here on the right. And so yeah, you can see the graveyard is coming up very, very, very quickly. Although in these final stages, the builder did go on a bit of a ghost slow. Even though the builder is right next door, it still took them a long time to get these last little bits done. Meanwhile, over here in our builder, I can't remember who's who and what's on what, but the builder over here is still doing the massive dirt platform. Now again, the footprint for the church is colossal, not quite as big as the university, but it's a close second, probably the second largest building we've done so far. And it's taking them forever just to do the first level, the base floor. But the actual church sits kind of on the middle of this platform, so it shouldn't actually cost too many materials or be too long a build. And again, the church isn't a specific building from Mine Colonies. It's a decoration that the creator has put separate buildings inside. I'm not quite sure what the buildings are that live in the church, so it's gonna be quite exciting to go inside and find out what's actually in there. There's a lot of cool decoration around the church, and that is kind of the primary reason for building it. It's a nice, big, impressive build. And the Byzantines were very big on religion, so it's kind of madness that we haven't had a religious building yet put in the colony. Now it's made out of wood, I assume at level 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, well no, level 2, 3, 4, and 5, it gets things like beige brick and, you know, more solid stonework. But there we go, as you come over here you can see the finished graveyard, complete with a kind of crypt thing, in the middle. It looks very cool, very simple. And in contrast, over here on the right, you have this massive church, made out of wood for now, but let's take a look inside. Okay, so here we are. Finally, at last, we have a graveyard. And honestly, I wish we had this when we lost Jay Hoobies. And um, what was her name? The other one? Oh man, disrespecting her memory. But it's okay, because you know what? We've got a better builder now in the form of Jensen pay no tax? Sure. Anyway, good job, Ambriel. Amazing stuff. And the graveyard looks pretty cool. Um, uh, yeah, there's not much to say. It's only level one, but even so, because it's all like nature-y, it still looks really, really, really nice. It's a kind of a shame it's 
hidden out here all the way at the back of the colony, but that's okay because people don't really want graveyards on their doorsteps. But moving along closer now, let's go and take a look at this bad boy. Now this is a church, but I don't know what exactly it's for. We built it, but I'm not quite sure what's inside it. It really is just decoration at the moment. And I guess that's cool because we do have space. Aha, what's this? A look inside here shows me, ah, this is where the Enchanter's Tower lives. All oh, right, so we can get that built eventually. Amazing stuff. And when we want to upgrade it, here is the controller over here, and we can get Molly Moo to fix this up to level two. Amazing. So we're going to need some more dudes because we're going to have to recruit an Undertaker. Boom. Hopefully this one isn't going to get thrown from the top of a cage at the 1996 Wrestlemania. Anyway, honestly, I've kind of wanted to get some more dudes in for a while because there's loads more names now. So let's take a look and see who is hanging out at the Drunken Eagle. All right, what kind of party animals do we have in here? Who's this guy? What kind of animal is climbing on the walls of the pub? Ugh, it's Roxy Cren Crenshaw? Yeah, oh my god, what are you doing out there? Crazy fool. Anyway, there's some new dudes. There's one over there. Oh, McGinger the brown water. Ugh, horrible, horrible. And you're not quite ginger, are you? No, you're blonde. But what do you want? Gold? Gold I think I can handle. Yeah, let's get some gold out here and get you in. McGinger the brown water, welcome to the crew. Potential undertaker, but let's keep looking because there might be someone else that just appeared. Because there should be more than just one dude over at the tavern. But for now, I'm not seeing it. I guess we have to wait for them to load because I just had to fix the names file because there was a bit of a bug with it. We had the same old bug of one of the uh, quotation marks that was in the wrong position. So I think the tavern needs to load some more dudes anyway. Let's head on over here, see if we can get an Undertaker into the colony. Man, oh, things are honestly looking really cool with the colony so far. It's come up a long way. So up here past the hospital and let's take a look who is this oh right it's ambriel hoobies so where is the block rip indeed but preferably not in pepperoni so manage workers undertaker show employed looks like mcginger already got hired as well as something but let's go and see what their stats are because they could have had good stats to be an undertaker no mcginger has mana eight and strength one so i reckon she'll do fine as a druid for now but what other knights do we have that we could throw in this role oh look at this molly moo mahogany could be an undertaker she's got great strength anybody else with decent stats oh yeah look at this uncle guy has eight mana and 12 strength none of those are amazing but together they make a nice mix so uncle guy get over here and let's see what he looks like and this is what a medieval undertaker looks like. Are you going to put the uniform on? Unless, is that the look? Well, okay, I like the mutton chops. Fair enough. I don't think the Christmas hat, though, really fits the undertaker vibe, does it? I mean, it's a bit like on the nose to be at a funeral and um, the guy standing in the corner with a Christmas hat, especially when it's not Christmas. It's just, <laughs> it's just weird. A weird slap in the face. Never had it happen to me, but um, yeah, one for the books. So how does the Undertaker work and how does the graveyard work? Well, basically when people die in the colony, there's a chance for them to be resurrected. Also, when guards die or when anybody dies in the colony, the Undertaker will go over and dig up the grave himself. So it means you don't have to always be on top of where people have died yourself to get their stuff back. Really cool. Now you do need to have a grave slot that I think every single colonist that dies and just like any other buildings, upgrading this in the levels gives you more slots for more dudes to, I guess, find their final resting place. There's a bucket and a shovel in here, just in case he needs them. I'm not quite sure what the bucket's for, um, but sure, yeah, we'll go with it. But yeah, all in all, a pretty good episode. We've got the graveyard built, we've got the university up now to level 4, and we're storming through those high-level researchers. I'll see if I can get the population one done. Oh my god, whoops. The, <laughs> I'll see if I can get the population one done for the level 4 kind of extra colonist dudes. That's going to be pretty important. But also, there's so many level 4 researchers that are super amazing. I think what I really do need to do is mop up all of the level 1 researchers from both civilian 
and military and maybe even the technology ones that I've missed as well. But there's loads more to do. I'll make sure that the research is full up as soon as I close the game. And we also built the church over here. Now, while I thought this was a bit of a pointless building, because it's really just a decoration, it actually has the Enchanter's Hut inside it. And I'm thinking that at higher levels, this building might put extra buildings in its catchment range as well. In fact, we can take a quick look. Aha, uh -huh, yeah, you can see already at level two, it gets a library. And a school. Oh, wow. So two schools and two libraries. And you know what? That's actually okay, because as soon as we turn on Kids Will Be Born, we're going to get loads more dudes. Anyway, a massive thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and drop a comment in the comment section telling me what you think of the colony so far. And I will like and heart the comment. But until next episode, my dudes, take care.